Listen! The government is warning all the people in this area that we can no longer protect you! Communist guerrillas are advancing! Civil war has begun! Father, what should I do? You? What are you afraid of? You're a woman. It's me they'll kill first. You know, I'm for the king. Long live the king. Goodbye. Father, well, do you think we should go to Yarmouth? Who will look after your home? Your husband built your fine home. It's your duty to look after him. He's got my children. These aren't Germans. Turks are Albanians. They're our own people. They won't harm women and children. Lucas? Lucas, are you staying? Yes. My wife has convinced me I'm too worthless for the communists to waste their valuable bullets on. If they kill me, at least it'll prove to her how wrong she is. It's finally come to this. We've been invaded by everybody. And now we're being invaded by ourselves. army of Greece. I have the honor to inform you that this village has been liberated and that your house has been chosen to be the general headquarters of the army of liberation. You'll be out of the house by tomorrow morning. But Spiel, don't you remember when Katina brought you here? I remember. Be out of the house by tomorrow, Americana. I have an army to feed. Anyone hiding food will be shot. Those are our orders. Obey your orders. Mana, what do we eat? One thing more, Americana. All your able-bodied men have fled. I need soldiers. Each household will volunteer their eldest daughter to fight with the Army of Liberation. Olga, you will have the privilege of taking part in our great struggle. Spiro. Major Skiff. I gave you my house. What food I have is yours. But Olga doesn't know anything about fighting. We will teach her. Please, I beg you. We will teach her. Give two more days to spend with her, then she's ours. 
Manash. We're at war. Those are orders. Anyone who disobeys will be dealt with accordingly. Is that understood? Comrades. Comrades. I welcome you in the name of the Democratic Army of Greece. Mothers of Leah. Your children are in danger. The fascist government's attacks on your village will continue. If your children are not killed by bombs or bullets, they will die slowly from starvation. What little food we have left has to be rationed out to our fighters. But, because of the party's great concern and love for your children, our leaders have found a way to save them. And we've called you all here today to announce that the people's democracies of Albania and Czechoslovakia have opened their arms to your children. They will take them, care for them, feed them well, and educate them to become lawyers, doctors, engineers, whatever their talents permit. And when the civil war is over and the red flag flies over all our country, they will come back to you. Tall, healthy, happy, ready to take their place in the new Greece. Who will be the first to volunteer her children? Who will be the first? Katina, for the love of God. We have our first patriotic mother. Katina Skates. You wish to volunteer, Comrade Skates? Yes. I would like to volunteer some advice. To you, Mr. Conrad, in a blue suit. My husband died in the war, fighting for your cause. I carried on the dream, he whispered to me once in the night, of a better life for my children. My children, not yours. Not the parties, not the people's democracies of Albania or anywhere. Mine. No mother will give up her children. There are no volunteers 
fear. Mothers of Leah, you know your children are hungry. Your children can eat like this every day if you let them go. Any child who steps forward at this moment can have as much bread and marmalade as he or she can eat. I paid to be like everyone else. I didn't complain and I'm not complaining now. But I am saying no more. They took our food. They took my home. They took my dignity. And I gave it, I gave in at every turn. But I will not give them my children. They will not. Yes, Mama. Here, take this. When you are safe, throw it behind you. When you throw a black stone, it means you will never return. Promise me you will do this. I promise.
the relatives of those who escaped have been locked up, except for Eleni Gatsayanis. The American? Yes, sir. Is this the soldier who allowed them to escape? Their escape routes took them past his post. Yes. He stood on one of our mines. Knock him up. We don't give medical attention to traitors. Traitors? He was wounded while in pursuit. Peasants and children. Do we have an army that can be outwitted by peasants and children? Because if we do, the word of this escape will inspire others in the territory we hold. He was a collaborator. He was bribed by the Americana and her dollars. He was wounded while trying to escape. Please, give me a signed confession to that effect. We're going to have a trial, Americana. And at that trial, in front of all the people, you're going to confess your crimes. What crimes? What have I done? You collaborated with the enemy. You transmitted vital military information with Lucas Zars. No. All I did was to help my children escape, that's all. Escape? This is a liberated village. Where were they escaping from? Your village is loyal to our cause. I've sent reports to my superiors stating that loyalty. Yes. How am I going to explain this escape to my superiors? Hmm? time now there's been a fascist organization in existence in your own village I am happy to inform you that thanks to the vigilance of our guerrilla intelligence this organization has been uncovered the criminals before you have endangered all our lives by passing on vital military information to the enemy with the 20 traitors who fled from Lear. All of you must abhor their treachery. There they are. Andreas Nikopoulos. Spiridon Nikopoulos. Vasily Niku. Alexo Gadzoyanis. Elias Gatos. The lady, Gatsoyanis. <coughs> the Americana. She was never one of you. How many of you had packages from America? While you starved, she feasted. While you worked, she plotted. Americana, 
You're charged with organizing the escape and trying to bribe the citizens of Lear and turn them against us with your American money. That's not true. I have done nothing wrong. I have done no harm. And I have wished no harm to anyone. All I wanted was for my children to be safe with their father. By refusing to send her children to socialist countries, she betrayed the goals of our revolution. By sending them to fascists, she betrayed us all. <coughs> Citizens of Lear, our children are about to leave for Albania and Czechoslovakia. We will take a short pause in the proceedings of this trial in order to permit their parents to say goodbye.